you're a Playboy Cardi fan like me, you are probably aware that he's not the best person when it comes to a lot of stuff. <laughs> no, who wasn't a troublemaker when they were a teenager or if you were a 23 year old <laughs> grown adult? If you've been on the internet like at all in the past week, you've surely seen at least one clip from Cardi's most recent arrest. Is there anything in the car I need to know about? No. Got an extended mag Glock sitting on the fucking passenger seat. Kind of sparked a discussion online on the nature of a lot of Cardi's behavior. Because, you know, there is, over the years, kind of like a mountain of steaming, <laughs> of steaming choked pregnant women has kind of been piling up. So, in today's video, I kind of wanted to compile a bunch of stuff together on why I guess I personally think, you know, that Cardi has some pretty questionable antics. And answer the question, if he's, you know, <laughs> a doo-doo person. I do want to start off by saying, okay, I, I'm not trying to cancel anybody. This is just me kind of going over stuff of an artist I like. Because I've just been really, really disappointed by kind of the antics he's been up to. I just want to make clear, this is just me kind of wanting to call out some shitty behavior I've seen. Which I would like discuss. Because I think, you know, as an audience, we kind of have a certain responsibility to at least be aware of some of the bad things. You know, some of the people we like listening to do, like... Kanye, for example, <laughs> right? And just because you're famous and popular, I think shouldn't be a shield for criticism, right? So let's start off with evidence piece number one. I think the first thing I want to cover is kind of the music situation, okay? Because, you know, as you guys might know, Kali has been dropping new stuff lately. I have kind of held off talking about it because I do not like being a negative Nancy as much as my video topics might mislead you to think. I like seeing people enjoy stuff, but I personally was kind of underwhelmed by a lot of the new stuff Cardi's been putting up. Because I just kind of always saw him as somebody who was like experimenting with stuff. So seeing the guy take like a fucking, I don't know, two to three year break to just drop a very, very average normal song was just kind of weird and made me personally kind of question if this was just like a giant move to kind of fill up his bank account because, you know, um, <laughs> it must be dried up to some extent with the kind of lifestyle he lives. What I, I really don't understand is, um, especially with Cardi, I don't think his music is that difficult to make to justify taking pauses out this long. There's obviously the argument for like artistic integrity and I get all of that, but we have heard a lot of stuff and we have had so many albums scrapped, which, you know, is itself is all right to do, you know? You're fine with not making something. But I think when they get to the point where like it feels like <laughs> this guy's just lying to his audience every other week about the new album that's dropping, a really easy and quick way to kind of get rid of the people who actually care about your stuff. I mean, look at people like Kanye who have fucking announced albums so much that pretty much nobody is actually expecting him to drop anything ever again. And I think the stuff that's in most recent memory for me is kind of him scrapping a lot of the tour stuff that's been going on. Because, you know, I think it's perfectly fine to scrap music if you know if you get second thoughts or whatever. I think scrapping a tour is something wildly different, right? Because, um, you know, there are people who have booked your tickets, right? And, you know, those can be refunded. But, you know, those same people booked airplanes, booked hotels. And this is just kind of a really easy and quick way to say, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about my fans, and I, you know, I think Kanye should be, you know, pretty grateful to be in the position he is in right now, right? Because, you know, without the people listening to his music, he wouldn't really exist. So seeing something like that, just fucking take a fucking fat dump all over, <laughs> like, all over the people that put him into the position he's in now, just feels really shitty. I guess scrapping albums and songs and singles, whatever, but when we get to the point where you're like, actively, like, taking money out of the pockets of your fans, and I don't know if you guys have a fucking plan anything with a hotel or like an airline that shit is fucking messy and annoying to do i would <laughs> that's exactly why I, I hate traveling because fucking booking that shit or like getting these things postponed or removed is is genuinely seventh circle of hell okay you, you don't fucking want to be in that position so him kind of just not giving a shit about that just feels wrong especially when i feel like his new music right like the, the thing he has to show for himself to kind of justify this behavior right while you kind of look past it has been pretty mediocre like and you know this you, you guys might have different opinions but i just don't think it, it's good enough to kind of justify this kind of shitty behavior right I, I, again i don't want cardi canceled i just kind of wish people would be pretty clear you know that's that's shitty i don't think we should get the people we look up to or the people we kind of enjoy music of just kind of get away with anything but as we all know cardi is not just 
insane and reliable. He's also like an absentee father, right? We've all seen the fucking memes of him skipping his child's birth to fucking play PlayStation with Lil Uzi. Which just kind of brings me to the point of this of this video, is that he's just kind of a deadbeat. It doesn't seem like the dude cares a lot about his family, his fans, or anything like that, okay? You guys let me know in the comments if Cardi is getting into heaven, or if he's getting into heaven, you know? Thanks for watching, watching boys, and see you in the next one. I chain smoke I choke. Have a good heart, but bad health. You would never know. Where can you turn? The... <sighs> okay, I'm almost there. I think the biggest surprises are behind me. <laughs>